In December 2019, the Chinese authorities notified the world that the virus was spreading through communities in Wuhan, China. In the following month, it quickly spread to other countries, becoming a global pandemic. This virus is a notorious severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus 2, or SARS-CoV-2, that causes the disease called COVID-19. While the main focus of health agencies around the world has been on the human effects of the virus, pet owners have a slightly different priority. Can pets get SARS-CoV-2? The short answer is no. But if you're a pet owner, you should still keep your guards up during the ongoing pandemic, and we will tell you why in this week's demystifying medicine. First, let's look at what is a virus. A virus is just a hull around genetic material and a few proteins. There's really not that much to a virus. In fact, it isn't even a living thing because it cannot replicate itself. The only way for a virus to replicate is by invading body cells. Once inside of a cell, the virus hijacks the cell's machinery and resources and makes millions of copies of itself, crippling the body in the process. To enter the cell, the virus needs to pass through the cell's membrane. The virus does this by using cell receptors, which act as a shuttle that sends the virus across the membrane. These shuttles, however, can only transport specific substances. This is known as the lock and key model, as only substances that can fit into the receptor can be transported. Therefore, viruses are only compatible with specific receptors, as their surface proteins can only fit into certain receptors. The novel coronavirus relies on a receptor called ACE2. Which is commonly found on the cells in the lung. This is why pneumonia is one of the landmark complications of COVID-19. If you take the ACE2 away, the virus cannot enter the cell and cannot replicate. ACE2 is present in the cells of pets, such as dogs and cats, as well. However, the structure of human and animal ACE2 is slightly different. This makes it more difficult, or even impossible, for the coronavirus to enter the animal cells. In other words, it is like trying to unlock different locks with the same key. It probably won't work very well because different locks correspond with different keys. At this point, some of you might say, "But I've seen news of pets testing positive for the virus on the news." Most of these reports are simply false positives. The virus, for example, can enter pets' nasal cavities, where they can be picked up by the SARS-CoV-2 tests. However, as previously mentioned, it is very difficult for these viruses to actually infect pet cells. Some pets, such as cats, have ACE2 receptors that are more similar to human compared to dogs, and therefore they're more at risk of SARS-CoV-2 infections. However, even if a pet does get sick, they usually only get mild sickness because their receptors are still different from humans, despite certain similarities. For this reason, it is not necessary to put a mask on your pet, but because pets can still carry the virus without getting infected. It is still important to social distance your pets from the others, and keep your outdoor pets indoors for the time being. And if you suspect that your pet has an infection, call your local veterinary clinic. Note that in this video, we are only addressing common household pets, namely cats and dogs. If you have a more exotic animal in your household, please seek out expert advice for proper preventative measures. Here are our references. As COVID-19 is a rapidly evolving situation, we recommend that you visit the official website for the CDC or other disease control organizations for the most up-to-date information.